Hi there, welcome to the Electronics channel. In this video, I want to show a few diode model examples. And basically what I'm gonna be doing is looking at circuits like this one here and applying different ways to model the diode here to calculate the voltages and currents in the circuit. So what I'm going to do is look at two different configurations of diodes, forward biased and reverse biased diodes under a few different models. And using those models, I'll look at the voltage across components in the circuit as well as the currents in the circuit. In model one, the diode in the forward biased configuration is, is modeled as a short, and in the reverse biased configuration, it's modeled as an open. In model two, a forward biased diode is modeled as a voltage source with a small voltage that has the opposite polarity as the actual voltage source while the reverse bias diode in model two is also modeled as an open, just like it was in model one. In model three, the forward bias diode is modeled as a voltage source in series with a very small resistance. And the reverse bias diode is modeled as an open, just like it was in model one and model two. Finally, model four is typically done in, in simulation, in simulate, using simulation software where the current through the diode is modeled by Shockley's equation here, and the simulation tool will approximate the diode current and the diode voltages. What I'd like to do now is examine this circuit, do some analysis on this circuit using, using all four different models. And so to start off with model one, with the forward bias diode here, the voltage across the diode is going to be, going to be modeled as zero volts. So voltage across the diode is zero volts, which means the rest of the voltage from the voltage source is going to be dropped across the, the resistor, so the resistor will be five volts, and the current in this circuit, there's only going to be one current, so the resistor current and the diode current are going to be the same, and that's going to be equal to the five volts across the resistor divided by the thousand ohms that the resistor is. And that means the current in the circuit is going to be five milliamps. Under model two, Diode voltage is going to be some some fixed voltage that's that's just defined for the type of diode that it is. And this 1N4002 is a silicon diode, and typically you use about 0 0.7, 0 0.65 to 0.7 volts to model the diode. So we will use the 0.7 volts for that silicon diode, which means the voltage across the resistor is going to be the 5 volt source minus the 0.7 volts of the diode to give me 4.3 volts, and the current in the circuit will be the 5 volts minus the 0.7 volts over the 1,000 ohm resistor, divided by the 1,000 ohm resistor to give me 4.3 milliamps. With model three, this is where I model the diode here as the voltage source of, again, I'll use 0.7 volts, plus a small series resistance. So I'm actually going to redraw the circuit because it is chain, it does change a little bit here. So I'm going to have this five volt source, thousand ohm resistor, and then the model of the diode will be the 0.7 volts diode drop in series with a small resistor. And I'm going to use four ohms for this resistor. So the best way to do this analysis, I think, is to calculate the current. The current through the resistor is the same as the current through the diode, which is going to be equal to five volts minus the 0.7 volts of the diode, all divided by the total resistance in the circuit. So it's going to be a thousand ohms plus four ohms. And that gives me a result of 4.29 milliamps. So you can see that the model two and the model three give very similar current results. And model three is a little bit more complicated to analyze. Mm -hmm. So typically, if you are going to do just a, a first order analysis of a circuit with a diode, you're going to use model two, which is just going to assume a small voltage drop across that diode. Model four is going to be a a more accurate representation of the behavior of the diode because it's going to use Shockley's equation to model what's the, the behavior of this diode. And 
typically you're not going to do that by hand. It's going to be done in some kind of simulation software. So I actually use simulation software to, to measure the voltage across the diode and the current in the circuit. And what I came up with, or what the, the simulation came up with, is, the, as, is a diode voltage of 0 0.65 volts and a diode current of 4.35 milliamps. And you can see that the diode current is very similar to the Model 2 diode current. Off, off by a little bit, but, but pretty close, especially if you're just doing a first order type of approximation. So when if you need to do this by hand, you're not going to use Model 4 to do the, the approximation. You're going to use a Model 2 approximation. If you need a more accurate result, then you would use a simulation tool to, to actually determine your, your diode voltages and currents. The next thing I did is re simulate this circuit by changing this 5 volt source to 7 volts, 10 volts, 15 volts, and 20 volts, and then looking at the voltage across the diode and the current through the diode and seeing how that changes. And remember in Model 2, we just, we're just we just assuming a constant of 0.7 volts across this diode. Well, look what the actual voltage is across the diode under those different conditions, 0 0.65, 0 0.67, 0 0.69, 0 0.7, and 0 0.72 volts. So that 0.7 volt approximation for the diode voltage is is actually a pretty good one to use if you're just using the Model 2 approximation. Finally, I want to do a few quick examples using the Model 2 approximation with different circuit configurations. Okay, so the first circuit configuration looks like this. Okay, pretty much the same configuration as we looked at before, I'm just changing the values a little bit. So the voltage across the resistor is going to be the 12 volt source minus whatever is dropped across the diodes, and in this case it's 0.67 volts. And that works out to 11.33 volts. The diode current is the same as the resistor current, and I can calculate the resistor current with Ohm's law, that 11.33 volts divided by the 500 ohms, which gives me 22.7 milliamps. Now what if I have a reverse bias diode? Exact same circuit, but turn the diode around the other way. Well, in this particular case, there will be no current in the circuit because that diode will be acting like an open. Voltage across the resistor is going to be zero volts, of course. The voltage across the diode is going to be the full 12 volts, and the current through the diode is reverse bias. There is no current zero milliamps. What about a circuit where I have two diodes both in the forward bias direction? So I've got a voltage source, a resistor, and a couple of diodes in series. We're assuming these are the silicon diodes so they each have 0.7 volts across them. Still have that 12 volt source. 500 ohm resistor. Well, in this case, the voltage across the resistor is going to be whatever's left over of the 12 volts after you got the two diode drops across these two diodes. So it's going to be 12 volts minus 0.7 volts for the first resist, uh, first diode and 0.7 volts for the second diode. And that works out to 10.6 volts. Current through the diode will be the same as the current through the resistor. So I can use Ohm's law here, 10.6 volts divided by 500 ohms, and that works out to 21.2 milliamps. One more example, and this example also has two diodes in it, but this time one diode is forward biased and the other diode is reverse biased. Well, if you have one diode reverse biased, that's going to make the circuit an open. So in this case, the diode current is going to be zero milliamps. So I hope you learned a little bit about how to model diodes and that model two, where we model the diode as a voltage source with a polarity opposite from the actual voltage source is a very good, not 100% accurate, but still a good way to model diodes in a circuit to give us a good approximation of the voltages and currents in the circuit. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.